Hey, what's up guys, it's Archie from Little Rice Muncher Gaming. Today I have something special to unbox. This is the limited edition Frozen Llama Mecha Mini from Ducky, and it's a collaboration with MechanicalKeyboards.com. If you're not familiar with the Mecha Mini, I did make a video on it before, and I'll provide a link to it in the description below. Anyway, this is essentially a 60% keyboard with a durable aluminum case. There has been a Frozen Llama edition before, but that was with the plastic one too many, and it was limited to 3,000 total units. This time will also be a limited production run but neither ducky nor mechanicalkeyboards.com has specified an exact number so that's the background with the limited edition frozen llama let's go ahead and start with the unboxing it's pretty apparent that this is a limited edition keyboard you have frozen llama here front and center it is a little bit glossy and textured as well and then here on the top left you'll see the ducky logo and embossed purple lettering as well as on the top right you have mechanicalkeyboards.com a lot of you guys have asked me where should i buy this keyboard and and my first go-to is always going to be mechanicalkeyboards.com. Unless, of course, you live in a different country that they will not ship to, but they are an official partner. Ducky does have a list of their official partners on the website. Anyways, that's the front of the box. Let's take a look at the left of it, Frozen Llama here on the left. There is a sticker present that tells you what switch type you got. I do have the Speed Silver Switches by Cherry MX. As of right now, I only think there are Cherry MX variants for the Frozen Llama, but for the other Ducky keyboards, there are starting to incorporate other brands other than Cherry MX. But anyways, Speed Silver. I did try this briefly before. The actuation and travel distance was a little bit too short for me, but hopefully I can have a successful run this time. If not, then I'm probably going to end up giving it away, but we'll see. So here at the bottom side, nothing. Here on the right side, you got Frozen Llama again. And then here on the top side, you have a couple things. You do have a Frozen Llama logo, obviously a throwback to Fortnite. Here on the left, you do have another Cherry MX sticker. If you guys aren't familiar with this already, Cherry MX did update their most popular switches. Previously, they were rated for 50 million and now they're rated for 100 million. I did make a video specifically on this, so if you'd like to see it, I'll also provide a link in the description below. But 100 million actuation, so new and improved. Here on the right, you do have the model number. Like I said, I got Speed Silver and this is the Frozen Llama RGB PBT keycaps. Some other identifying information there, but that's pretty much it. Taking a look at the back, you do have some more Frozen Llama art and then on the top left, you do have the dimensions again this does have aluminum case so it does have a pretty hefty weight to it I like that personally some people don't whenever I'm working with my previous mecha mini it just always feels like a premium product in my hands but anyways on the right side another frozen llama logo also glossy and then here in the middle collaboration between mechanical keyboards and ducky cherry MX switches inside here on the right you do have a warning don't spill any water or beverages on the keyboard obviously I say obviously but there are keyboards that actually advertise water resistance so yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the box, guys. Let's go ahead and open it up. I don't think I mentioned this previously, but this limited edition run, it costs a little bit more than the original Mecha Mini. The original Mecha Mini is about 120 bucks. This is about 130 bucks. So $10 premium to have this done. We're gonna go over some of the differences between this and the previous Mecha Mini. This is the V2 version. The first Mecha Mini, we'll just call it the V1, but this is the V2. So the Mecha Mini has been updated. The first thing that you'll notice here is a dust cover which it kind of comes standard with Ducky keyboards if you're not familiar with them. And if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, basically I always save the keyboard for last. So let's go ahead and move that over to the side and we'll get to that next. But here at the bottom, you do have one insert. From what I understand, the manual is something to be downloaded online so they don't provide it in the box anymore. So I'll provide a link to that in the description below. Manual is an absolute necessity if you are new to uh, Ducky keyboards because there are a lot of layers but user manual guide, as I said right there. I think this is just gonna go over some warranty information. Okay, so yeah, warranty confirmation, warranty policy, one year warranty from the day of purchase. Repairment policy, if you guys are interested, there it is. At the bottom of the box, again, a lot more of those logos and the marketing. Ducky Mecha Mini, MechanicalKeyboards.com, Frozen Llama, Limited Edition Production Run. So we're just gonna go over the accessories one by one. I'll just grab them one by one here. Here are the accent keycaps. Now, from what I understand, none of these except for the Frozen Llama are RGB shine throughs. So if you'll notice on the underside of the keycaps, they are not translucent. These are the keycaps. We'll go ahead and install them later in the video 
video. I don't think the year of the whatever space bar comes in these keyboards. So a lot of you guys like those limited edition space bars, but there's that. Okay, so next up you do have the keycap puller and it does have that frozen llama theme with it. I like these wire keycap pullers. Honestly, they're very gentle on pulling your keycaps as opposed to some of these other plastic ones. You'd be surprised, but some of those plastic ones can actually scratch your keycaps. So nice touch, Ducky logo on this side and Ducky spelled out on the other side. Next up, we do have a Type C USB cable. It's just your standard white. It is rubber, wish it was braided, but that might be asking a bit much. It also comes with a Ducky cable management strap right there. I believe they're also gold plated on both ends. So Type C reversible, pretty good cable overall. And then I wanna say that's pretty much it for the accessories. There's nothing else here. So let's jump straight into the keyboard. Keyboard is wrapped in a little bit of plastic. All right, so this is my first time actually seeing a Frozen Llama edition. Honestly, I've seen plenty of videos, I've seen plenty of pictures, and seeing it in person, it actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. The keycaps are not going to be shine through. I don't think any of them are, except for that one accent a Llama keycap, but for me, I don't think I really care. If you're not familiar with Ducky, they basically known for having a pretty strong RGB. You can see a little bit of that white backplate. It really reflects the RGB really well. My first impressions touching these keycaps, these are double shot PBT, they feel really premium. They might actually be a little bit better than the stock PBT keycaps on their original Mecha Mini. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the design. So the Mecha Mini is known for having this floating key switch design. It's hit or miss depending on who you are. I personally like it. I think with the RGB on, the keys definitely look like they're floating a little bit. So it has a really unique appearance. I always get a lot of questions on this versus the one too many. One of the biggest things I have to point out is the design here between this and the one too many. The sound profile is also going to be different guys. It's not just a matter of metal versus plastic. Taking a look at the back side, you'll have Ducky X Mechanical Keyboards.com. So advertising their unique collaboration. You also have some of that Frozen Llama artwork extending along the back side here. Frozen Llama on the right side. Another thing of particular notice, it does say round one. On the Mechanical Keyboards website, it does say that these are going to be in limited edition runs. They don't give a specific number, but apparently this is the first edition model. So maybe it'll be worth more than the other models in the future like a Pokemon trading card or something but here on the far right side you do have that type C port just a little bit recessed it should be pretty accessible for all kinds of type C cables now one thing I want to point out is this entire design here on the casing is painted on there are other users that are reporting some paint chips on their keyboards and I actually see a little bit of them I haven't dropped this by any means but there are a little bit of some cosmetic imperfections here and there I'll go ahead and try to take a picture and zoom in on it on the video but but for the most part, I think everything looks pretty even, but just know there have been reports of some cosmetic imperfections and also like just the paint chipping and wearing off, especially with the stands. From what I understand, um, the stands also appear to wear out a little bit from use. But anyways, if you're not familiar with the Mecha Mini, it is too height adjustable. The rubber feet are extremely durable. I have never had any issue with it. And here on the backside middle, you do have that little plate back here. Let's go ahead and remove that plastic real fast. All right, so there's a plate, really uh, highly reflective. You can see me in the background there, but product number, serial number, also advertises the collaboration and the Frozen Llama Mecha Mini. So it is a unique plate. Now, earlier I did mention that this is the V2. I do have the previous model right here. We'll call it the V1, but apparently the dip switch functions serve a different purpose this time around. Unfortunately, I don't have the manual here to flip through and show you, but I'll go ahead and insert a picture right here. But for me, I only use the dip switch for one function and that was to rotate the placement of some of these bottom four keycaps. If you notice here on my Mecha Mini, what I like to do is I like to have FM placed right there. The default position is one over with the Windows key being right there. I use the FM button a lot to access different keys on the next layer, but you can switch that up how you want to. So just know on the V2, there is a little bit of added functionality with the dip switches. Anyways, probably one of the bigger differences is the addition of two LEDs underneath the space bar. If you'll notice on the original Mecha Mini, there is one LED responsible for lighting up the entire space bar. Right here, I have the regular PBT space bar, but they do typically include the ABS, Year of the Pig, Year of the Rat space bars. And when you have one LED underneath the entire space bar with those space bars in particular, uneven lighting is just highly noticeable. So a good touch to add those two LEDs with their new PCBs on the Ducky 1-2 Mini and the Mecha Mini. One other difference, they also advertise an improved typing experience as if 
if the typing experience on the previous one wasn't stable. Uh, I've never had any issues with really anything with the keyboard. As far as typing on it goes, it's been flawless. A minor adjustment between the V1 and the V2, but a couple significant changes. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, fire up the RGB. All right, so honestly, the RGB is as bright as ever. For sure, there's gonna be consumers that are concerned about the lack of shine through with the PBT keycaps, but honestly, the RGB still stands out quite a bit. In pitch black darkness, you can still tell which key is what key. Like I said before, this is my first time ever seeing a Frozen Llama, so I'm actually pretty impressed with the presentation. I expected the RGB to kind of be a little bit more muted, but it actually looks extremely bright, so extremely impressed. And this is definitely, definitely 100% an eye-catching design really unique honestly pretty glad to have it we're gonna see how typing on it is before I decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not if I can't adjust to those silver switches I might have to give this away we'll see how that goes but anyway naturally that leads me up to the sound test so let's go ahead and have a listen Okay, so I'm gonna be pretty honest here. I came away pretty impressed with the typing experience. I did not experience hardly any typos. I mean, I wasn't typing at full speed, but the typing experience was actually really pleasant. I don't know if it's just in my head or what, but the stabilizers feel fantastic. I thought they were really smooth. I really didn't really experience hardly any rattle. I didn't notice any ping. I thought the keys were soft. It almost feels like they're a little bit lubed. As far as the main keyboard I use, I use the 1-2-SF and I switched to the Mecha mini for gaming whenever i use the mecha mini for long-term usage i can kind of feel the wear on my fingers from bottoming out but honestly typing on this it felt fairly soft i came away pretty impressed so only time will tell i don't know if i'm you know still gonna like it in the long term but as far as right now i'm pretty impressed <laughs> i've unboxed a lot of keyboards made a lot of keyboard videos that's pretty much it guys i don't know if i missed anything of significance but if you have any questions at all feel free to uh, leave a comment below i try my hardest to answer every question that I see come through the channel. So if you found this video helpful at all, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting that thumbs up. It helps me greatly. One last thing I would like to mention, this channel is really close to hitting that 10,000 subscriber mark. So I just wanna say thank you to all the new subscribers, to all the old subscribers. It's really surreal seeing some of you guys come through and say, oh, you know, I, I was subscribed to you since this video and that video was like literally two years ago. So I've come a long way. I have a long way to go. So I'm like, keep putting out new content. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I do have a big giveaway planned. So stay tuned for that. Legitimately going to give away several of my keyboards, gaming mice, and I plan on throwing in a couple gift cards. I'm thinking one big gift card to mechanicalkeyboards.com and another gift card to Best Buy. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. This is Little Rice Muncher Gaming signing off. Thanks.